So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space. You can increase this space even further using the 60-40 split folding rear seats as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And above that, in the top left-hand corner, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 14,992. We then have a digital readout for the speedometer in the center. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. So we have uh, various trip computer information, vehicle settings, your phone, audio and navigation menus, and then back around to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are just here. Beneath that, we have stereo and phone controls. Stereo controls continue on the left, along with cruise control and speed limiter just here. Over in the center is where you would pair up your phone before you can use it. Hit add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then follow the instructions on screen from there. You can see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works on our website and on our YouTube channel. And in terms of music, we have plenty of ways we can listen to that as well. So we have AM, FM and DAB radio. We have Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. This car also has two separate USB inputs. So if you plug devices into those, they will appear up on here as further options for you. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have climate control, so you can adjust the temperature inside the car, the fan speed, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning on and off again. Or you can hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any time you wish to by making any manual adjustment. You see auto has now gone off. We also have a heated driver's seat, heated passenger seat, heated front screen as well as the heated rear screen and a heated steering wheel as well. The seats have three separate heat settings. Below that we have a 12 volt charging socket and one of the two USB inputs a six speed manual gearbox. We can put the car in eco mode. We can turn the traction control on and off. This button turns off the stop and start. And then all the way back behind the handbrake, we have the second USB input. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.